Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final stop aboard DCA Gateway to Heaven. The final takedown episode before that huge CPV. This is D-Wall here with you on commentary. And what a huge show we have for you tonight in our main event. Sierra Knight will face Nicole with the Women's Championship on the line. First time ever that the Women's Championship will be defended in a main event spot on takedown but right now we're gonna get ready for our opening contest Maceo coming out to the ring to face Malik Brown this match was made after Takaru had a conversation with Maceo they were talking about Takaru's involvement in the gateway to heaven ladder match Maceo said that he wanted to prove himself. He wanted to show that he is just on this equal footing as Takaru to be in some sort of title picture or main event spot. Takaru said, hey, don't get upset. Just calm down, relax, and go out there and do something to prove it to the people. And so what did Maceo do? He had a challenge made with this man Malik Brown he challenged Malik to a match and Malik was more than happy to accept the challenge and here we go Malik Brown who will face Jordan Sylvia at what what you, you know I should say something about this but then again I uh, I don't know what to say about all this. Malik, if you've been watching the last few weeks, has had some uh, interesting things to say about Shazine, our general manager. Um, I can't tell if it's flirt. 888 Black Thunder. Okay. But I'm guessing this is all just to get under Shazine's skin like he's been doing for weeks ever since he came into DCA but regardless of that don't take this man very lightly just because he's being all fun and games now because when he gets in that ring he's as fierce of a competitor as anyone you can imagine and even though he's playing mind games with Shazine right now I guarantee you at Gateway to Heaven when he faces Jordan Sylvia one on one it's not going to be any fun and games. It's going to be all business for Malik Brown just like it probably will be or well, most likely will be right now. Cause here we go. Bell rings and we're getting ready for our first contest. This is going to be really interesting to watch as both men just staring each other down here we go this match getting underway gateway to heaven is only a few a week or two away a few days away it's coming up real soon nonetheless a lot of great action that's going to be on the card like I noted like I noted before Malik Brown will face Jordan Sylvia as look at that Marcel with a nice flatjack and now uh oh and now Maceo in control so far Malik Brown he's got to stay on him though because if he doesn't then Malik Brown will take complete advantage dunking under another duck under Maceo missing that kick though Malik getting out of the way going for that knee and he hits it again hit two knees one didn't take him down and now he calls this ode to Danielson boom kick right to the face into the cover one it only gets one there and now going off the, for something here look at this huge uppercut from the second rope springboarding off and now double stomp to the midsection this could be a little early here too in a kick out 
Maceo, like I said before, he wants to prove something to the DCA audience. He wants to prove that he can be just as great of a competitor as Takaru. And now, Maceo kicking Malik away. And I, oh, went for a missile drop kick, but Malik swatted him away. And now, uh-oh, look at this. Look at this here. Huge brain buster. That could be it there. One, two, and again, Maceo kicking out. But off the ropes, oh no. You know Maceo is going to give 100% in this match as he lands a springboard kick in another cover and only gets one. Maceo, one half of the Rising Suns tag team who have been on a roll in DCA so far. They've got a couple of wins at live events that we've been to all over the country. Takuru, of course, is getting ready for his huge Gateway to Heaven ladder match at Gateway to Heaven. The winner of that match will receive a guaranteed title match. Guaranteed DCA championship match at Revelations Last Rites as Maceo hits that headbutt to the back of Malik Brown and into the cover right off of it only gets one. Calvin Richardson, Tyler Parks, Tyler King. Uh oh, look at this. Malik, look! Into the cover. Again, sunset flip. No. Calvin Richardson, Tyler Parks, Tyler King, Joshua Smith, and Takaru are the five men currently in that match. Last week, we found out that Atlas Jones, wait, cover here by Malik off the drop kick to the face. Two and a kick out. Last week, Atlas Jones came out to the ring and said, hey, if Shazine doesn't want to announce the sixth man, if there is not a sixth man in the match, then I'm going to put myself in the as the sixth man. So it has been confirmed. It will be Atlas Jones as Malik misses that and a neck breaker off of it. It will be Atlas Jones as the sixth and final entrant in the Gateway to Heaven ladder match at Gateway to Heaven. We also found out last week that Morgan Raincroft will put her women's championship match that she won from the Shadow Angel. Well, I shouldn't say won from. The Shadow Angel basically gave her the title shot. Thanks to Shazine, Morgan Raincroft will put that contract on the line at Gateway to Heaven in a Gateway to Heaven ladder matches Malik with a kick to the side of the head. And that match, we don't know who will be in that match. There has not been any announcement of the five women that will be in that match. Hopefully we'll get some answers before or at Gateway to Heaven. Huge kick to the head again. You gotta watch out for Malik. He's got dangerous kicks and dangerous feet. But so does Maceo. Maceo, the strength of the rising suns, we like to say, is sending Malik all the way to the other side of the corner. And a clothesline on the run after that now. Maceo taking it to Malik. Malik may have more of a challenge on his hands than he may have realized. And uh-oh, Maceo going up to the top. This can't be good here. Dropkick missed. And Malik just swatted him away off of that drop kick. And uh oh, look at this. Oh, a twisting reverse neck breaker. And the crowd is on their feet for Malik here. You got to think Malik Brown is looking to send a message to Jordan Sylvia and maybe Shazine too, in a way. And now, uh oh, what is this? Uh oh. He's going for it again. This time off of the stairs. He caught him. And that may be the momentum builder that Malik needs to get back in this match. But like I said, he wants to send a message to Jordan Sylvia. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, no, again. And now Malik with the punches right to the head. And now, uh-oh, Maceo back in control. Malik may have been taking a little bit too much time 
trying to weaken Masay on the outside. Count is up to 14. Remember, there's a 20 count in DCA and a huge rolling elbow. And now, uh oh. Malik now. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. And now Maceo back in it with a backbreaker, neckbreaker combination. And throwing it back in the ring. This could be it for Malik. Malik is in trouble. Uh oh. Back suplex. And now off the ropes. Oh, he hit the drop kick just a little bit. Maceo coming back in for a second go, though. Another one. And another drop kick. One. Two. And a kick out. Uh-oh. Wait. Small package. Small package. Roll up. One. Two. And a kick out again. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's that kick to the face. One, two, no. And now again, Maceo in control. But wait a minute, Malik. Roll up out of nowhere. One, two. Oh. Uh-oh. Maceo, he's trying everything he can. He said he wants to prove a point. He wants to make a statement. And he may will make a huge statement if he defeats Malik Brown here tonight, a former world champion. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another roll-up. Two. No. Wait. Cover. One. Two. Oh, wait a minute. Backslide. One. Two. No. Great action so far from these two men. Both wanting to make a statement, prove a point. Into the cover though. One, two, no. Uh oh, again off the ropes, but Maceo, oh, missing that kick. Oh, but tilt the world backbreaker right off of that. This could be it. One, two, no. And there is on the bottom left corner of your screen the current card for Gateway to Heaven. Destiny Championship on the line. Alexander Washington will face Kenshin and Vega, who is now being called Sol Del Oro. That's who he wants to call. That's what we want. He wants us to call him, excuse me. And also, like I said, Malik Brown versus Jordan Sylvia. That match is going to be big in itself. And the Gateway to Heaven ladder match for the Women's Championship shot at Gateway to Heaven. Morgan Raincroft wants to prove a point to the fans that she wants to be respected. And then uh, Calvin Richardson, Atlas Jones, Takarud, Joshua Smith, Tyler Parks, Tyler King, gateway to heaven ladder match for the DCA championship at Revelations last right. It's the DCA championship shot, I should say. And here's the title match as Malik goes off the ropes with a knee to the head into the cover. One, two, kick out. Jacob Cross will face Anthony Lewis if he is medically cleared as Malik now back fist and a knee into the cover. One, two, no. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Another flapjack by Maceo. Is now Maceo looking to probably finish him off with the Oriental Express here. But no, again, into another roll-up, two, and again a kick out. This match has been absolutely unbelievable so far. Uh-oh, but it may be over right now. Malik, you know what he might be setting for. No, again a roll-up, and now two, uh-oh. Maceo has come so close in this match so far to putting Malik away, but he's got to stay on him. He's got to stay on the attack here. 
Maseo again going up to the top rope. This could be a mistake. No, this time he connects with a drop kick. And now he's looking for something. I don't know what. Trying to set something up in the middle of the ring. Maseo now. Neck breaker. Again, going for something. He's trying to set something up. Off the oh wait, no, going to the apron. Calling Malik to his feet. This may not be good for Malik Brown now. Off the road shot kick. Malik Brown is in trouble and they oh wait, no. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. Malik Brown coming back. Right hand. And another one. And a chop and another right hand. Off the ropes. Looking for something here. No. Caught him. Again. Irish whip under the apron this time. No. Maceo coming back. Irish whip. I mean, a uh, sunset flip. Excuse me. Two. No. He got Irish whip onto the apron. And then reversed into a sunset flip. Malik Brown now in control. And uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, the. I think that's called, I believe. It's Silence is Golden by Malik Brown. Going for the end once more. No, Maceo countering. One, two, no. And a huge insiguri right off of that now again. Can he put Malik Brown away? That is the big question. No, Malik, another Another roll up and another kick out. And now these two fighting it out. This, this match has been absolutely amazing so far. Both of these men looking to build momentum toward Gateway to Heaven. Well, more so Malik than Maceo. Another knee missing. Maceo now back inside the ring. Malik trying to catch his breath. Maceo doesn't give him any more room. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, again, calling him to his feet. Maceo looking for something. Oh, no, he got caught. He got caught in a fallaway slam. Malik call him with a fallaway slam. And Uh-oh, wait, no, again. Maceo just keeps fighting here. He will not give up in this match. And again, he gets caught. And another fallaway slam. Malik Brown now. Uh oh, wait a minute. Is he going for the? Is he going for the Jaguar knee here? No. He's not done with Maceo yet. Huge rolling elbow. And now oh, he's backing him into the corner. He may get him here. Malik running in. But oh, wait, Malik got countered. He got countered. I don't think I've ever seen anyone counter the Jaguar knee before and a kick to the face. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anyone kick through. I mean, fight through the Jaguar knee before. Cover one, two, no. Malik had that Jaguar knee coming in, but he countered it. But Maceo now. Can he put Malik away? Going for it. Got him hooked. No. Malik. Suplex counter. Malik Brown, I don't think he even expected the Jaguar need to be countered in such a fashion. Another stomp to the midsection. And now a kick to the gut. No, again. Small package by Maceo. He is doing everything he can here. Only gets two. And again, more shots to Malik. And a kick to the head. What does Maceo have to do? What does Malik have to do? Another Oriel. Oh, wait, no. Look at this. Neck breaker. Very unorthodox, but it gets the job done. Will it this time? No. What a maneuver by Maceo. And again, Malik with another roll up pin. No. And now off the ropes, Irish whip. Drop kick in the corner. And now 
Oh wait, no, again. Maceo just keeps fighting back. Oh no, missed the clothesline. Off the ropes here. No, Maceo, DDT. Every time Malik has something, he thinks he has something going. Maceo just brings it right to him. Maceo now, wait a minute, again. Huge boot to the side of Malik head. Malik in trouble. Maceo looking for the end, looking to put him away here. Oriental Express, no, again. Another roll up by Malik Brown and another kick out. And now, oh wait, and now roll up by Taco Maceo, excuse me, one, two, no, again. Back and forth, Maceo looking to put Malik away here. No. Uh oh, off the ropes. Wait a minute. No, again, he counters the knee. He counted the Jaguar knee a second time. No. Maceo countering the Jaguar knee over and over again. How many more times Malik has gone for that knee twice now and in both times have failed? Malik in trouble, Oriental Express again? No! I don't think Malik expected this kind of fight from Maceo here tonight. Maceo now, uppercut in the corner. No! Malik kicking him away. Top rope, no! Going for, no! Missed the knee! Maceo now, clothesline. Uh-oh, Maceo now looking for something. He has been proving to the world he can get the job done this whole time, this whole match. Not that many people can take Malik Brown to his absolute limit, but Maceo is doing so right now because he has something he has to prove to the whole world here. Now. Getting him in the, uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, shoulder into the ring post. And now Malik, in the corner, drop kick again. And now, oh wait, again, another small package, no. And now, uh-oh, wait a minute, putting Malik in the corner, what's this? Oh, missed the clothesline, Malik. Uh-oh, wait. Is he going for Silence's golden again? Yes! Connects. That's it for Maceo here. One, two, and again he kicks out. How is Maceo kicking out of all these moves? How is Maceo still going in this match? Flapjack. And now again, Another counter. Both of these men putting it all on the line right here. Maceo, another small package. One, two, no. And oh, wait a minute. Right when Malik got up to his feet, he runs into the kick again. This could only be a moment away from uh, Maceo getting a huge upset. Maceo! Oriental Express! And that could be it for Malik Brown right now. Malik is in trouble. Maceo with a huge upset here. No! Malik kicking out of the Oriental Express. That's now Maceo running in. No! Malik now off the ropes. Jaguar D gets him that time. And now. Oh, he's not done. He's not done, and a second one. He didn't hit the first two times, but he got him the next two. And uh oh, we've seen this. He calls this the conniption fit. And that is it. It's over. Good Lord, what a match. You have got to hand it to Maceo here. He has nothing to be ashamed of in this match. He gave Malik absolutely everything Malik could handle. And not that many people in this company, in this whole virtual wrestling community can say that. 
But Malik just showed why he is dangerous when he's in that ring. Malik Brown getting the win and picking up the momentum he needs for Gateway to Heaven. And uh-oh, speaking of Gateway to Heaven, there's his opponent, Jordan Sylvia. Jordan Sylvia will face Malik at Gateway to Heaven. Jordan telling Malik how he feels about him. Wow. Um I Jordan, I hope you know what you're asking for. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we're getting set for our main event. That's right, the main event, women's title on the line. Sierra Knight defends her championship against Nicole in a rematch from Redemption. Sierra Knight on episode 21 granted Nicole this rematch here tonight. And Nicole, I'm sure, is going to do whatever it takes to get the women's title from this woman, the lone wolf, Sierra Knight, who I'm sure is going to do the exact same thing to keep her championship. And here comes the number one contender now, Nicole, who has been nothing short of impressive since debuting and especially in the last few weeks Nicole has been showing and proving all of the critics that she is deserving of a women's title match and that's why she's in this position here tonight main event of takedown women's title on the line Two of the best in the women's division are about to go at it for the richest prize in the women's division here in DCA. The women's title and the winner of this match will face the winner of the Gateway to Heaven ladder match for the women's division at Gateway to Heaven. 
The winner of that ladder match will face the winner of this match for the women's title on the final show of the season, Revelations Last Rites. So you have to believe Nicole wants to do anything it takes to get to the big show, to get to Revelations, to be in that women's title match. And there you see Jennifer Hawkins, our women's referee, holding up the goal, the women's title on the line here in this match. Both women look ready to go. The crowd is ready to go. And as we said, this is for the women's championship, the richest prize in the women's division here in DCA. And here we go. These two women have had a storied rivalry. They faced off in episode 8. They faced off at redemption for the women's title. And now they're going at it once again. Main event of Takedown episode 23. The final Takedown show before Gateway to Heaven. And just an interesting fact. In one-on-one -on -one action, Nicole has never beaten Sierra Knight. That has got to be weighing on the mind of Nicole here in this match, knowing that she has never defeated Sierra in a match on a huge clothesline. So Nicole, I'm sure, is, is going to do anything and everything she can to take the women's title away from the Lone Wolf. But you got to remember the Lone Wolf, Sierra Knight, can strike at any point, at any time, from anywhere. And then connect that wolf bite ankle lock. Lock it in. And no one has not tapped out to that hold in a clothesline of her own by Sierra. Sierra Knight has submitted so many people, so many women in the division with that wolf bite. Just like when a wolf chomps down on you, it's so hard to escape. And just that's exactly how it is when Sierra locks in that ankle lock submission and Nicole has got to be very mindful of that in this match but you got to remember Nicole has a very offensive high flying style and also a very mat based style as well Nicole looking to become the very first Ukrainian women's champion in history and now a huge elbow drop and now, now you see right there just like I said Sierra Knight immediately going after the left leg of Nicole not only to slow her down but to lock in that ankle lock whenever she gets the opportunity because if that leg is softened up just enough you know that Sierra is going to go after that ankle lock. oh wow innovative backbreaker by Sierra Knight here and now what's this uh oh look at this you don't really see Look! Oh, wait a minute! Look at that hurricane running from the corner. You don't really see that from Sierra Knight too often. Sierra Knight usually a brawler. She will ground and pound whenever she can. And now you see Nicole clutch. Oh my God! What a right hand! No nonsense, stiff right hand. And now again. Sierra going after that left leg. She realizes that if she can slow Nicole down, she cannot get any momentum. And then Sierra will be in control completely. But anything can happen in DCA. Nicole can get some momentum going just like that as Sierra once again going for this Hurricane Rana from the corner. Sierra trying to play a little bit of Nicole's game and now going back to her own, back to the leg. It's kind of smart though, because it brings Nicole off her game. You, you would expect that Nicole would be expecting a very mat-based style in this match, a very ground-based attack going after the leg. But then you see Sierra hitting these Hurricane Ranas. It totally throws Nicole off her game, gets her distracted, from the goal at hand and Sierra takes control like she is right now and a chop block to the leg. Sierra very smart ring technician believe it or not both of these women are 
And Sierra has been working on that left leg the entire match so far. Like I said, trying to slow Nicole down and wait, weaken her for that wolf by ankle lock. And now, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. She's got that. She's got the wolf by already. She's laying down on it, putting more pressure on the leg. Nicole really can't move that much. Nicole's in trouble early. Jennifer in perfect position. Nicole might tap out early here. Sierra wrenching it in, and this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. Sierra letting the hold go, maybe thinking she's not weakened enough, going back after the leg immediately. But this is what I was talking about earlier, ladies and gentlemen. Sierra Knight working on the left leg the entire match, the entire match so far, making sure that Nicole can't, can't be mobile. And again, back to the wolf bite. A variation of it really she likes she usually elevates the leg to put more pressure on but now she's putting it sitting down which puts even more pressure on the left leg making it even more painful for Nicole to try and fight out of it you see Nicole trying to decide whether she wants to tap or not she gets out of it there and now look at this the strength of Sierra Knight on full display this is why she is the women's champion and now going for that clothesline barely gets her but she got her that time this is first I think the first cover of the match I believe no Sierra is in complete dominating control of the whim of uh, Nicole excuse me and now uh oh look at this there's that chop block this could be it for Nicole two and Nicole again fighting out and another stiff right hand and now uh oh you don't really see oh you don't really see Sierra go off the ropes too often but she hit that there and you gotta wonder if Nicole you gotta wonder if Nicole has anything left she has been she has been taken apart this whole match and again back to that left leg that leg has just been heavily damaged this whole match by the women's champion. But there's that fight, that heart of Nicole. But you can see she can barely walk on her own two feet. She's only got one good leg. And now, uh-oh, look at this. Throw her by the hair. Anything it takes, like I said before, too, no. And now, again, using the right leg, if you notice using the right leg to kick away at the women's champion here and another clothesline like I said she can barely walk she's only got one good leg that she's using here as Sierra sizing her up here and a drop kick to the face and now uh oh wait a minute oh sending her right off the apron and Nicole once again in control uh oh, back suplex on the floor. Like I said earlier, Nicole will do anything it takes in this match to get to Revelation's last rights for the women. With the as the women's champion is sending Sierra back first in the ring stairs, and that cannot feel good for the. Uh oh, oh no, oh my goodness. Anything it takes, like I said. But Sierra, again, not quitting. And now again, back to that left leg of Nicole, which has been heavily damaged this whole match. You got to wonder. She, Oh, my goodness, she hit the steps. Nicole hit the steps on the way down. And that, oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. That is, you can't begin to imagine how much that hurts but again Nicole just will not quit and now into the ring post and sending Sierra's head right into it and now uh oh oh she went for something there she went for something but now uh oh Sierra again going to the top rope but Nicole catches her uh, but now Sierra uh oh wait a minute going for that sent on it no Power slam, two, and another kick out. Nicole 
has been worn down this whole matchup. She's got to do something to get back in this. She's got to do something. Uh-oh. Going for the, I believe, the Falcon Arrow. No. Knee right to the top of the head. And again, back to the leg. Sierra's bread and butter, so to speak. But again, Nicole fighting out. But you see, she hobbled on that leg. She doesn't have much left in it. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Moonsault from the second turnbuckle. This, this could be it for Sierra. Not here, no. Nicole with that moonsault. How she hit that effectively with one bad leg. She may, she may not have gotten all of it that she wanted with the amount of force she wanted to because of that bad leg. Snap suplex by Sierra. And now, oh. And now what's this now? Oh, wait a minute. Sierra now. Oh, look at this. A figure four on the steel post. A figure four on the steel post. And that is not that is not good for the legs of Nicole. And again, back to him. Sierra putting in a new move in her arsenal. And there it is. Wolf by locked in again. And I don't think Nicole... Nicole's tapping, but it doesn't matter because it's on the floor. I don't think Jennifer even saw it anyway. And now sending Nicole into the ring post just like... Uh-oh. Sierra now may have taken a little bit too much time, but how much does Nicole really have left? Nicole now going for something here. No! Sierra and a huge clothesline. Nearly taking... Oh, uh -oh, wait. Oh, back inside. Oh, no. Got caught. Oh, into that chair a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Nicole ran into that one, but Nicole's still fighting. That's that heart and desire that Nicole brings. Oh, and a flapjack on the floor. Nicole with that heart, that determination, that will to win at any cost. Another flapjack. Nicole wants to be women's champion. It's been her dream. She wants her dream to be realized here tonight in this main event. She understands. Oh, look at this. Standing corkscrew. Splash there. We've seen her hit that before. Uh-oh, wait a minute. But Sierra, oh my God. Into that chair. Not a disqualification, however. Because it was not in Sierra's hand. And now Sierra sitting in the ring steps as hard as Nicole could throw her. Nicole just chucked Sierra. Oh, and a slap to the face. That's not good. Oh, God. And now Sierra. Huge senton from the apron. Counts up to 17. These... And now, oh, wait, wait a minute. Sierra now, oh, overcalculated that one. And now a sleeper slam on the floor. That may be the opening that Sierra did not want Nicole to have. And now choking Sierra on the apron there. Uh oh. Oh, look at this. No, he, she gets her, though. She gets her. I thought Sierra was going to get out of that. Cover one, two, no. And now, uh oh, look at this backbreaker. And now, what is Nicole trying to do? She's trying to hit something. Uh oh, wait a minute, Falcon Arrow. No, another knee right to the top of Nicole's head, and another stiff right hand. But uh oh, small package roll up by Nicole, too. And a kick out. And now look at this. Another backbreaker. Uh-oh. And a springboard splash. Oh, but Sierra again. No. Nicole once again. Small package. Roll up. No. Nicole countered by Sierra. No. Nicole countering. Two. No. Like I said, these two women going back and forth. For all for the women's championship here in the main event back suplex by Nicole off the ropes springboard missed 
And uh-oh. Going for that flatliner, I'm sure. Sierra's calling her to her feet. No, another small package. Another small package roll up. And another kick out. Nicole trying to run in off the ropes. Sierra not realizing it. Head scissor takedown. And now, oh. Caught her a little bit there, but oh no. Oh man, caught her. But just, just enough. And oh, this time she's going to get her, I believe. Yes! She got her with that one, running in for the cover. This could be it for Nicole. No! Sierra cannot believe it. This crowd can't believe it. What an incredible match. But that just shows you how important this women's championship is as Nicole in trouble again as Sierra calling her to her feet. Could this be the flatliner? If she hits it, it's over. No. What is this? Oh. Knee to the back. Nicole now in trouble. Going for something once more. Another small package by Nicole. Another cover. And no. Sierra. One. Two. No. How many times can these two women counter each other? before somebody gets the upper hand. Nicole calling Sierra up now. Sierra in trouble with a missile drop kick by Nicole. And Nicole now trying to gain some sort of momentum. Off the ropes, clothesline. Top rope once more. What's she gonna go for? Oh, she's calling, she's calling Sierra once again. Sierra in trouble. Another missile drop kick. Sierra, oh no. Sierra caught Nicole. And a clothesline right in the corner. And now, uh-oh. Off the ropes now. Wait, no, into the turnbuckle. No, countered. Uh-oh. Nicole caught her. And Falcon Arrow. This could be it. We could have a new women's champion right now. No. And a slap by Nicole. And now the straight punches. And another slap. And another one. Nicole just saying, bring it on. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we've seen this. We've seen this before. Oh, my goodness. Sierra Knight with that, that huge... Tombstone like maneuver, but Nicole kicks out! Sierra Knight with that tombstone did not get the job done. And Nicole still fighting, but Sierra is pissed. And I know! Went for that! She went another more slaps! Sierra went for that! Uh oh. Off the ropes. Oh no! She went for that! She went for that shot block and now the kick to the head. And oh, wait a minute. I think Nicole is wanting to end it here. Nicole wanting to finish with women's champion off once and for all. I'm getting out of the way. I got my headset with me, so I should have no problem. But I can't say the same thing for Sierra. There's that neck breaker through the table. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Regardless, Sierra Knight sent through the table by a huge neck breaker. And this could be it. Sierra Knight is done. Nicole may have just punched her ticket to a women's title. But oh, she's not done. She's still not done. Falcon Arrow on the floor now. And now, oh, wait a minute. What is she doing? What is Nicole doing? Nicole, come on. You got the match won. You got the match won. Put her in the ring and finish her. What is Nicole trying to do? I, I have no idea, ladies and gentlemen. What she's playing. Oh, wait a minute. What? What is? No. 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 Oh, my God. 
Are you serious? How in the hell did Sierra Knight kick out of this? How does she, how the hell is she gonna? She is out. Sierra is out cold. Nicole, Nicole, you can pretty much say she's women's champion right now. Nicole has just punched her ticket to the women's title. All she's got to do is pin her, but she wants to hit the shockwave and end it. Calling Sierra up. Sierra doesn't know where she is. She is out. Sierra is out of it. Here we go. Shockwave connects. That is it. One, two, what? What? Are you... You're telling me, you're telling me Sierra's still in this thing? Ladies and gentlemen, Sierra got her head kicked into the ring post and she's still fighting. Nicole now. Sierra trying to fight back. Double knees to the head. Calling her in. Drop kick. Nicole fired up here. Going in. No. Wait a minute. She got caught! That tombstone! She connects! And she's still not done now! Sierra Knight! Signaling! For the finish! Is she gonna hit another tombstone here? Calling Nicole up! Calling Nicole in! Nicole! Kick to the gut! How in the hell is she fighting? Wait a minute! Shockwave once more! That's it! That's it! It's over two now! How the hell are these two women still going? Nicole, again, calling her up. Another one might be coming. If she hits this, it's over. It has got to be. Going for the shockwave one more time. No! Sierra gets out of it! No! Went for the chop lock. Got countered. Nicole now. Headlock. Back elbow. Sierra in trouble. Off the rope. Off the turnbuckle. Running in. No. Missing. No. Going in and there's that chop block. Sierra Knight caught her. Uh oh, wait a minute. Into the turnbuckle as hard as she could. Sierra Knight again into the turnbuckle. No. Went for the tombstone. Missing. Drop kick to the ropes. Sierra in trouble once again. Nicole, no, went in for the Coles line. Sierra with a small package, no. Now and a neck breaker on the run. And now Sierra trying to run in, going back to the leg. Is she gonna go for the wolf bite once more? No! Sierra countered once more by Nicole. No! Small package by Sierra! One, two, three! What? Out of nowhere! Sierra Knight retains the women's title! But just on the skin of her damn teeth! What a night! What a match! What a competitor! Nicole and Sierra gave it everything they had. Nicole had about two or three good chances to really put Sierra away. But Sierra Knight is still the DCA Women's Champion in one hell of a main event, ladies and gentlemen. My God, what a match. We'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back after that incredible women's match. And wait a minute. <laughs> Damn, I needed that laugh. You know, for a moment I actually almost believed you, but then. I realized that 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 was the best punchline in that entire joke. Best punchline I ever heard. Now usually I could just hit it off with that. I mean, I mean after that really amazing joke, I had to just end it off. I mean I can't top that, but see, in the actual reality of the situation, I know that right then and there that was your really feeble attempt of trying to be threatening. Your really feeble attempt of trying to be menacing. Let me make something very clear to you, Jordan. As much as you want to shit on my company, there are guys in that back who have a better grasp and a better understanding and actually worked to be somewhere and they didn't have to rely on daddy's money to do it and as much as you want to tell me I hold people back I call bullshit on everything you've ever said because as far as I'm concerned if I was really holding people back there wouldn't even be a battle pro there wouldn't be a Vint Taylor there wouldn't be a TJ Kennedy and there damn sure wouldn't be a Dante Styles because if I was really a cold hearted bastard I would have left his ass right in jail four to five I would have left him there, but I didn't, if I really was a sick bastard. And these threats, these threats, what, what the fuck they mean, huh? What's that supposed to mean? You gonna destroy me? You gonna destroy me? You can't even beat Jacob Cross! How the hell you gonna beat me? How you gonna leave me bloody when you ain't even got a mean bone in your body? You may pretend to walk the walk of a madman, but you ain't really went into the mindset of one. Jacob. Jacob Cross beats you because you beat yourself. You had every damn opportunity to beat him. And what you do... You throw that shit away, and you're too damn busy yelling at me, you're too damn busy yelling at these people, you got no one to blame but yourself, and 20, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna bullshit it, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, yeah, I went in that production truck, and I set my music off, wanna know why? Cause you made this my personal problem, the moment you laid your damn hands on me, was the moment you made it very abundantly clear that you got an issue with me. And see, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, I'm not like everybody else. I'm not going to take shit lying down. I'm going to end something before it even begins. You want to bring up my family? You want to be all cute and get personal? Have you even stepped in a ring of fire before? Have you ever met a demon in his eyes and then walked walked out to tell the tale? <laughs> no, nah, Jordan, you haven't. Have you ever found anybody that will baptize you under fire? Hell no. Not those $50 a night guys that your daddy bought in England just so he can make you look good because your daddy knew good and damn well you weren't ready. But you, you Jordan, Jordan Sylvia, the future of the company, the self-proclaimed king of DCA, wants to come out here and throw fire at a guy who actually worked for shit and you haven't even lifted one damn pinky to show your worth. And you want to tell me 
I'm jealous of you that I'm not in your league. You're damn right I'm not in your league, Jordan, because I'm in a league somewhere that you wish to be. I'm in the league that you're on the outside looking in. You haven't even touched the glass ceiling yet. Hell, I broke the motherfucker. Icon that you know or you cherish and you better pray to God that your mother and your father are nowhere near <laughs> They're nowhere near a television set or they're even in the arena cuz they are going to see a massacre in the middle of that ring Cuz their boy is going to a morgue cuz he decides to fuck with someone who's as mentally unstable as the next fucking guy my song, that song I come out to, Born of a Broken Man. <laughs> That's so goddamn true, cause I'm born a broken man. <sighs> Smile I wear, these jokes I crack. That's just a freaking mask. Inside, inside! There's something waiting to be let out, and oh, motherfucker, you gonna get it tonight. <sighs> Gateway to heaven, you gonna get it. You do. God have mercy on yourself. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think I think Jordan has opened Pandora's box for gateway to heaven uh it's coming up real soon running down the card for you destiny championship on the line alexander washington kenshin and sol del oro triple threat match also gateway to heaven ladder match but first this one it's just got personal malik brown jordan sylvia jordan may have opened up pandora's box for this one ladies and gentlemen Morgan Raincroft putting her women's title shot on the line in a gateway to heaven ladder match. But which five women will be accepting the challenge? Also, Atlas Jones announced last week he will be the sixth man joining Calvin Richardson, Takaru, Joshua Smith, Tyler King, and Tyler Parks in the gateway to heaven ladder match where the winner will get a main event DCA title shot at Revelation's last rights against the winner of this match, Jacob Cross versus Anthony Lewis. If Anthony is even 100% to make it to gateway to heaven. That's all coming up. At Gateway to Heaven, also, Shazeen has a special match for Amber Stevens. We don't know what that's all about, but we're going to find out at Gateway to Heaven. You know Amber's been wanting her hands on Delia and Shazeen for the longest time. And uh, I got word through my headset just during that uh, Malik Brown promo that Shazeen has a match in mind for Amber Stevens. A tag match if Gina Carano can make it to Gateway to Heaven. Kind of short notice if you ask me. But I guess more information on that will come at Warzone. But I guess the reason why she's letting Amber in on such short notice is because she doesn't want her to be ready for that. But anyway, Calvin Richardson apparently is coming out to the ring. He doesn't have a match scheduled for right now, but... I'm guessing he's here to talk about Gateway to Heaven. We have not heard Calvin Richardson talk really at all in DCA, so this is kind of surprising to me. But Calvin Richardson is in the Gateway to Heaven ladder match. He's going to be one of those six men in that contest, all vying for a DCA championship match. The main event spot at the last event of the season, Revelations.
Yeah, many people have been calling Calvin a future world champion. And yeah, that blackout elbow, he can knock everybody out. And Calvin is not playing around, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute! Tyler King from behind! Tyler King from behind! What a cheap shot to Calvin Richardson! Tyler King is also in the Gateway to Heaven match as well. And he is stomping away on Calvin Richardson in the ring. Calvin Richardson trying to fight back, though. And wait a minute! Tyler Parks! Tyler Parks with a spear! Calvin Richardson and Tyler Parks are best friends, tag team partners. He, Tyler's in the Gateway to Heaven match too, and he just speared the hell out of Tyler King. Those two had an incredible match on 21. Wait, now it's Josh Smith. Josh Smith now taking out both Calvin and Tyler. Josh Smith just took out two men at once. Josh Smith clearing the ring now. Clearing the ring, and here comes Takaru now! Takaru, perhaps the dark horse in the Gateway to Heaven match now! Take it out, Josh Smith! And, and Takaru is the last man standing! Takaru, perhaps the dark horse in that Gateway to Heaven ladder match many people saw! Oh my god! Oh my god! We forgot about him! Atlas Jones running in close line! My god! Take it, Takara's head is slamming it. Taking it into the first row. And now, Atlas Jones saying it's over. Time is up for the rest of the roster. Atlas Spear. Atlas Jones wants his guaranteed title shot. He's been waiting on since July of last year. And he will go through anyone and anybody to get it. And look at this. Grabbing a ladder. And he is going to send a message of his own. Atlas Jones, everybody is out. And Atlas Jones is climbing the ladder. And he's got a... Atlas Jones making it clear he is the favorite for the Gateway to Heaven match. And if he does just what he did tonight, and he lays out everyone, and he climbs that ladder, he gets his guaranteed title shot, and Shazine won't be able to screw him out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm D-Wall, and I'll see you at Gateway to Heaven. Good night.